Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. This time taking a look at the newest trailer for Streets of Tarkov that premiered today during the first day of the Summer Games Fest. All we knew before this dropped was that we would be getting a surprise look at something, and this trailer does reveal some very cool new features for the Streets of Tarkov map, and gives us our first look at some combat on the Streets map, which we haven't seen at all at this point. For this video, I'm just going to analyze the trailer a little bit and pause at some points to talk about my thoughts or point out something new which is showcased in the trailer. So without any further delay, let's start the trailer with a nice shot that helps to show some of the scale of the environments in the streets map as some PMCs move through this cluttered, dirty side street. So right off the bat, this first part really shows some of the scale on the map, I think. Especially this next part while the people are walking up the street and you see this huge courtyard off to the left. A lot of these buildings are really tall, the sight lines are huge, and it looks like from some of the interior shots we see later that there's quite a bit of verticality in the buildings, so you're going to have to be looking up. So right here it starts transitioning into some of the indoor environments and we get to see that there's even in this one block that they're playing on there's a lot of different areas there's what looks like a hospital or some kind of big medical building with the parking garage tons of interior environments and all of these apartments kind of look like they have sight lines into each other and connect through sky bridges in some areas seems like the map knowledge here is going to require some intense scrutiny of these maps so that you can move around effectively So starting at this point, we finally get a look at some combat on the streets map, which I thought has been missing from a lot of the other trailers, and I'm really glad that we finally got to see some. It's a pretty easy little detail to miss, but in this next section, we actually see some pretty cool environmental destruction effects. You got books flying off shelves and some boxes and things breaking in the background. And stuff like this, I think, is going to really add to the immersion of the gunfights and when grenades blow up and actually shred a room instead of just putting a bunch of bullet holes in the walls. So this scene right here I really think is one of the biggest reveals in the entire trailer. As you saw right there, this guy blew open the wall with the grenade launcher and then the squad pushed through to breach and clear the hallway and get in a fight with these other PMCs. So this is a huge reveal for the streets map in general, uh, just showing that we're going to get some actual new gameplay features like being able to blow through walls to get between locations. And that is probably going to be some insane map knowledge that we're going to have to figure out where we can blow open walls and get through to other places. And honestly, if features like this can come into the main game, I think that's going to improve so many of the maps we already have and give us new options on how to approach things. Now this final clip of the trailer is a really amazing tease and other than the wall being destroyed I think is really the biggest reveal of future mechanics that we've seen from Streets so far where this I'm guessing scav boss squad rolls up on an APC and dismounts right in front of this PMC. So I'm guessing that those are hostile enemies and that this is going to be a boss fight which means I sure hope we get some kind of anti-tank weapons or that turret on the APC has very limited ammo because otherwise this is going to be one crazy boss to take down. 
Well, that pretty much covers what I have to say about the trailer. It was short and sweet, but I think that what they did reveal shows that there's a lot of work going into the game and some big new features are actively being worked on behind the scenes. That's it for the video. I've got links to my Twitch stream and Discord server down below for anyone interested. And until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City. Thank <music> you.